Hi, it's Mike and Arlen, our Philippine journey. There's a big smile on my face, and there's a reason for it. Um, it's been a crazy couple of days. Uh, you may have seen our last video about the guy that we had to get the ambulance for and everything. But today, today may be the proudest moment in my life. It may mean more to me than anything has ever meant before. And we're going to tell you about it. So hang on. All right, I'm going to tell you right now, you guys, the vast majority of you will be bored to death, all right? But this is our life. This is about life, all right? A, a, a man's children mean everything to him, or should. Obviously, we know there are bloggers that their children didn't mean shit, but to me, it means everything. Everything I've worked for, everything I've, I've done, everything I've put money away for, everything I've done to prepare for her future, my daughter means everything. And she's growing up, so it is what it is, isn't it? But I will tell you this right now. My daughter, strangely enough, Got a phone call this morning, four in the morning. My daughter calls me all the time, okay? And I literally had to sit down. I knew it was going to be one of a couple of things when she told me she had to talk to me about some big news. I was scared to death um, that she was going to tell me she's gotten engaged. I know it's coming. I know it's inevitable at some point, all right? But that wasn't it. No. Uh-uh. My daughter got accepted to veterinary school. Now, I, some of you may not understand how big a deal this is, all right? And so I'm just going to take a few minutes to just try and explain it. And maybe you can share in this joy that a father feels for his child. First off, you know, my daughter graduated this year from a university in California, all right, with a major in animal science, animal health science was her major and her minors in biology. And she has ever since, I mean, literally, since she has been like six or seven years old, said she wants to be a vet. And she has always driven in that direction. Always. I mean, her class selections, her where she went to school, how she went to school, what she did, all of these things, all with this. And, and in the back of my mind, I had to sit there and just hold my tongue. I had to hold my tongue because vet school is incredibly difficult to get into, all right? So let me give you just an idea here, all right? Getting into medical school, 41% of the people that apply for medical school get accepted. And that average has been about right, less than, less than 50%, all right? And uh, they applied to an average of 18 schools, okay? Getting into medical school is not that difficult. I mean, it's difficult. Don't get me wrong. But getting there is not a death-defying feat. Um, it's hard, though. It is, you know. Been there, done that, know it, all right? So... 
you know, we, we under we all understand that. But veterinary school. Veterinary school rates are between 10 and 15 percent in the U.S. All right. Competition is incredible. And the reason is because there are only 32 vet programs in the U.S. That's it. And quite frankly, the number of applicants is outrageous. Um, you know, limited number of seats and thousands of applicants. Um, I'll put it to you like this. In, in With all things being said, all right, Taylor got accepted by a top 10 school. No, she did not ex- get accepted. She applied to um, seven schools. And of those seven schools, uh, oh, actually, she applied to nine schools. Two of those schools were international schools overseas. She got accepted to both of those, but it just wasn't in her wheelhouse. You know, it's not what she wanted. Um, and she didn't want to be in a foreign country going to vet school. Um, you know, she might concentrate more on being in the foreign country. Uh, I wonder if that boyfriend might have something to do with that too, but eh, it's okay. All right. Now, of those uh, other seven schools, you know, she applied to the top three schools in the nation, and no, she did not get in. She did not. And there are still schools now that have not replied. She may still get accepted at other schools. She has two or three schools that still have not extended an invitation or declined. And we're not going to talk about where she goes to school or where she's going to go to school because that's her private life, and we don't go into that. But it's a top 10 school. If school has um, subspecialty areas of equine uh, veterinary, uh, exotic animal veterinary, small animal, large animal, um, and then even more subspecialties in surgery and some other um, fellowship programs. There were 3,800 applications to that school. Of the 3,800 applications, there were 102 seats. Of the 102 seats, there were 25 allotted for out-of-state residents. So, out of those 25 seats, she got one. And I am so proud of her. I am I'm beyond proud. Um, you know, I had a long talk with her. You know what, honey? This is just the beginning. This is just where it starts. All right? You may find once you get started that this isn't the direction you want to go, and I'm I'm totally happy with that. Don't worry about what it costs. Don't worry about anything. You know. Now her mother and her will be flying um, to this school next month, and they'll start looking for the apartment that she'll be moving to. And then she let me know. Um, you know what? Uh, six months later. My boyfriend's moving, too. He'll be finished getting his teaching certificate in California, and he'll start his career teaching while I'm in school. And I think that's great. So she'll be on her own for about six months. She's a uh, four-hour, four-and-a-half-hour drive to family. Um, You know, it's a totally different culture, totally different climate than what she's used to, but she'll be fine. She'll be absolutely fine. And I told her, don't worry, just pursue your dream. And if your dreams change, then do that too. All right. It doesn't matter. But as a parent, for her to achieve a goal that she so desperately wanted, because she was feeling 
very let down. Um, you know, my daughter graduated with honors. She had a 387 GPA, and she took some massive nasty classes, and she felt bad. And now she's elated. And you know something? So am I. I'm elated. I'm off the roof. In fact, we're going out tonight, and we're going to celebrate. And I'm going to have a drink or two and FaceTime her and say, you know what, honey? I'm the proudest father in the world. Not in the Philippines. I'm the proudest father in the world. So we thank you so much for sharing your time with us. We thank you so much. I know this won't do very big or anything like that. We understand. All right. But as a proud father, I had no choice. I had to share it. Thanks. Have a great day.